Hello, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Redstone 101. In this episode, we're going to be doing TNT cannons. I tried one here, but I accidentally blew it up because I placed a redstone torch as opposed to TNT. But as you can see, it was there, that was the edge of it. Got one there, I got some to go way past that line, and it, it, it despawned the TNT, which is a bit annoying. So I made a pretty powerful cannon. So I'm going to show you the basic one that I made, and then I'll show you how I added to it just to make like a hyper cannon and that's basically what this is going to be because rather than being just like a normal boring tnt cannon we're just going to like zerg it and make it dominate everything and then we might shoot a few at that you know what i'll build it towards that anyway that village poor guys um okay I'll, i'd say here that's a good distance if a tnt cannon can shoot that far that's a good distance so for people who don't know what a tnt cannon is or how it works you need to have a bucket of water next to your propellant TNT. There's two types of TNT in this. Of course, you've got the propellant, which launches your other TNT, and the other TNT is, is your projectile. So these will detonate, then that one, then these will explode and blast that one over there. Now, the reason you need the water is when these all detonate, they don't, they don't become blocks anymore, they become entities, and then this water just flows through all these blocks, so that when they blow up, they don't destroy anything around them, which is good. This one's going to be over there, hopefully destroying some villagers' lives, so we don't need to put that in water. So th that's basically that's the basic setup for a TNT cannon. Now I like to raise this one here and put put it on a half block just so it has a better like angle with the other one. And of course, when that detonates, that'll fall land on there anyway. So that's the basics of a TNT cannon. Now I tried recording this before. This is the second take of it. Of course, that was the first take. I accidentally blew it up, which was annoying. But I found out that to delay that one after. About nine redstone repeaters is a good amount. So you want to have, first of all, let's say the button for it is, that's, that's not a button, that's, that's water. Okay, so that's a button there. You want to detonate all these simultaneously. So of course, when you press that, it'll light them. I'm not going to press it just yet, just in case it blows that one up, which won't be ideal. And then you want nine repeaters here. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five. And then you want to max them out completely. I mean, I reckon you could go up to maybe a tenth repeater, like at two ticks instead of four. But I don't really want to risk it because if that detonates, if well, if these blow up before that detonates, that'll stay here and destroy it. So you know, it's not worth it. As I've I've already done over there, which is a bit annoying. So that's what a basic TNT cannon is. Of course, if I have to press the button now, it'll light them, and then it'll light the top one, and then it'll blast it forwards. So, you know, it's not a bad TNT cannon. As you see, it stays there for ages because it's really long delay. It lights just as these, so it has its full duration. It's not just cooking away on there for a bit. But, you know, that's like, that's not hard. That's basically a third of the way we want to get it to. It's not hit any villagers just yet. So we need to make this more powerful. Now, first of all, we can increase this amount of propellant here. So if I was to go maybe two back and put a piece of water there and then add in six TNT here, well, Bring the button back, back to here again. So now it lights six TNT and then fires our projectile TNT. So we'll give that a try now. So there we'll lit. And boom. It goes a little bit further, but I'm thinking that's maybe the fifth TNT. The sixth one is a bit too far back to do anything. So we'll, you know, I'll leave it anyway. There's no harm. So. Of course, firing a piece of TNT at the villagers is going to decimate them because they're crap and they don't do anything. But what's better is firing two TNT at them. And also this works because I don't want... I would add more projectile TNT by doing this, which is what I'm going to do. The problem is, is that it'll angle this TNT to go that way. So I have two instead and I just focus them down the middle instead, which works out nicely. So it'll look like this, but of course you're probably spotting a problem these ones won't light. So we're just going to mimic this side over onto that side. So that's six blocks of cobblestone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll put on the five um, five repeaters and then four down here. Fully delay them, which I forgot to do once before on that also. It doesn't do, it doesn't do anything badly, it just sends your TNT over there, which is a bit rubbish. Um, then we'll put those on there. Then we'll bring this back. Now, there's, we don't. We just want one button, so for now, I'm just going to have it like that. So when you press this, it lights all the TNT, and then, boom. See how they sort of, yeah, then they despawn because they've just gone too far away from me, which is a bit rubbish, but that would probably hit there and maybe there. So, you know, it's definitely more powerful, but we need to focus it down the middle. 
Now, since these are entities, they don't go through blocks, so what we can simply do is just build a wall up around it. I don't want them to land on these, as they did a couple of times before. I don't think they have in this video, actually, but if we do it like that, and then bring the walls forwards a bit, then they'll try to go out, but they'll hit the walls and just go this way instead, because physics isn't the best of things in this game. But that yeah, that's good, so, you know, we don't mind. We can live with that. It lets us do stuff like this. So we'll load in all the TNT. Like that. Press the button. And we need to fly over there, actually, so it doesn't despawn. Boom, there go our TNT. Now, yeah, one, got, one, one went a bit further than the other one. But we still haven't reached the village yet. Right, well, we can fix that. Because, of course, to get something a bit further, we just add more propellant TNT. It's brilliant. It's so simple. Now, we have a bit of a problem here. Um, we can't really add a third lot because then we'd have three TNT here and we'd have to light the middle one somehow and that's always awkward. So we'll go above it this time. So we'll make like, put them up here. We You could drop what, you could drop TNT from here into the water but I just, I just like having the same amount on each level. So we'll just have it like that. Then do this. I'm also making sure that this, because that, won't light those but those light first and then project those but it's a little bit hard to tell I'm hoping that yeah in fact yeah that's fine that's not gonna light it like that okay good and then I'll bring that down to that button then I'll bring these down to this one as well so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve just to make sure then we'll go into here put up the TNT back in fact, if I fly I don't I can ignore the water now can't I yeah 1.3 Okay, hopefully this will work. If not, fuck's sake. Okay, yeah, there we go. Good. No! Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Christ. Okay, I don't think we're going to hit the um, the poor villagers with that, because I think that's actually too powerful now. That's a shame. Oh, well. So, we'll just do this. Screw it. So, we'll get... Let's put, let's put four on the top layer, actually. Right. And then I'm going to sprint. Sprint. No, oh, bollocks. Nope. Oh, never mind. Okay. I was going to try and print. I was going to try and like sprint over there. You know what? I think that would have hit it. But they're curving, of course. You saw one go that way, one go that way. So we just need to make these walls bigger, really. And we don't want them to go higher either. So if we were to put a ceiling on top of this as well, it would focus it literally down there. And then I'm going to do that as well because I don't actually need for it to be down there and then it, we get this cool barrel as well which also looks nice and this me and my friends made one of these ones we had to make this so long because we added so much propellant TNT there but you know we can live with that and back there fuck no oh bollocks no okay there we go so now the t if the villagers looked out they'd see that pointing at them which you know is probably not the most um, best thing for them not healthy for them definitely not We'll put in all our TNT again. We'll put four on there. I think that would be enough anyway, so we'll fly over there quickly. We'll see the TNT blast out anyway. Oh, what? Oh, okay. We need to make them a bit lower. But you saw, Jesus, they went pretty quickly. And it's going night time. I keep forgetting that I don't need single player coins anymore. So we'll, we'll knock the roof back a little bit. Hopefully that'll like, let it curve upwards a bit. Because that went out pretty damn quickly. I saw it in the corner of the screen. I don't know if you guys spotted that, but... Oops. Oh, damn it now. You don't actually need that because that one block of water will go all the way over there, but it's just, I prefer it. So we'll put four in there. Press it. Fly, 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 fly. We'll have a good look at it as it goes. Boom. Okay, yeah, it's still too low, right. But they're going forwards this time. They're going completely forwards. These have served their job, so we'll knock these back. These ones here aren't needed. They were just for show because they will still go upwards. But. You know, I think it looks cool. It's a bit of a risk though, because if you did that, if you put that on first time, your TNT might just be f go flat along the floor and just blow up your thing if it's that close. So anyway, let's see how this goes. We don't want it to hit there, but I've got a feeling we're going to be knocking this back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, the, uh, that will reach. We just don't need this actually. If I was to get rid of that, but it went so high before. It was like up there, wasn't it? Oh well, we'll we'll go. We'll add like a rooftop one block at a time. Until we get like the height that we want, because that's just the way it works. And eventually, it will probably curve it down a bit more and a bit more. I don't know. We'll find out. See what I mean? That's so high, but 
Yeah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. It needs to be. It needs to have a lower projectile because it made it. Then it blew up just above the that farm bit there, which is that's pretty damn accurate. That's right in front of us. So the fact that it almost hit that's pretty good. I think the reason for that is. Oh no, you know what? I was going to say we might need to lower it down a bit because it blew up just before it got there. But no, there's another way we can increase the speed of it. We just add five. We just add another layer of TNT there. Simple. Right, let's see how this goes. Fly. Boom. Oh, Jesus Christ, does it really? Right, okay, so it's that those two extra TNT there. But we can still use six TNT and mess around with it, so we'll do this. Fill the bottom layer again. We'll put the four here, but we'll also put the two at the very back instead. We'll see if that makes any difference. Again, like I said, it's just always just testing. Is that is that two pieces right there? Or did I just put one in? Right, okay. So we'll bring those two at the back forwards because it got there. We want it to hit there. As soon as it hits the village, I'll be happy. But I picked a very far distance. In terms of TNT cans, this is pretty damn far to hit. So we'll put these back in. Then our propellant. No, our projectile even. Bring them forwards one there. Right. Let's see how this goes. Boop. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, don't despawn. Oh, I was going to hit it then as well. Christ, that's annoying. Okay. I need to get over there straight away. As, soon, as long as that's... We know that's going to hit now. One of them... Another one went off over there, but... Who really cares? As, as long as we can fire TNT. As, as long as the TNT gets there, that's when we can start working on, like, its accuracy. So, that... That there seems to be a good amount of TNT. Right, fly... I, should, I really should have sprint flew, fl sprint flied instead. Come on. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? That's annoying. So, yeah, this is basically a bit of luck involved here. Right. I don't want this video to be, like, ages long as well, because I, st I still want it to be a decent length. Because um, this this video, of course, was just to learn how to make TNT cannons, but this is so much fun. I actually I just love firing TNT at stuff like this. It's always good. Especially on multiplayer. Right, let's see if we're a bit luckier this time. Where's the TNT? There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. This is when we start maybe needing to have a roof on top of it. Maybe just at the start, like, there. We'll see if that makes any difference. It probably won't, but that's why we're testing it. That's all TNT cans are about. I mean, of course, the the shorter you want it to go, say, like, if you wanted it to just go there... Of course, and you don't need much TNT, it's going to be much more accurate. There we go. But, we don't want that, that's boring. There are loads of videos on YouTube about that. And Jesus Christ, that, that is rubbish. See how long it stayed there for? That roof makes it just go... You know what? If that roof there does that, why don't we just put it, put it there instead? Or maybe a block higher, because if that hits there... Yeah, screw it, we'll make it, we'll make it there. It'll probably hit that. And fly along there, hopefully, with any luck. Anyway. Let's see how that goes. And of course, once you've got a TNT cannon working every single time that you want it to how you want it to be, that's when you can start making it look nice. For this, don't really care about how it looks at the moment, as long as it does damage to those villagers. Right, okay. Sprint, press, fly, go. Awesome. Right. TNT now. Nah. Okay, so roofs don't seem to work unless you were to have them really high. Let's, in fact, I want to see what that looks like when it fires the TNT. So I'll put those in. I think after this, I'll probably just cut the video here. You've seen how to make a TNT cannon. This is me just messing around. So what happens here then? Boom. Okay. So yeah, it hits that and then just bounces off it, basically. So a roof isn't really that good unless you were to have it super high. That rooftop's making it go there. You know what, screw it, no, I'm not cutting yet. I mean, if you don't want to watch, you don't have to. So, this is this video now, from now on, is me just playing with this TNT cannon, trying to damage that village, until, and then I will end the video. So, we'll try that roof. As you can see, TNT cannons get weirder and weirder and weirder. But they're good fun. Just so long as you don't blow yourself up, like I did with that one over there. But this one is working out to be a lot better. So we'll see how this goes. Boom. Oh, hang on a second. That looked okay. 
Did that even hit this thing? It probably didn't really. Whatever. It was probably just one of those lucky ones and I just let it despawn in front of me. That's really annoying. Put those there, there, and there. Right. Sprint, press, go. No, oh, bollocks. That's annoying. Why? That was so low, that one, then. Blimey. But anyway, you get the picture. I'm not even going to go into what that looks like. or Yeah. Um, that's basically a TNT cannon. Um, if you want anything else covered in an episode of Redstone 101, leave it in a comment. I've tried to do more complex stuff. It's just that this was too fun to miss. Like, proper complex. So, basically the type of things when you look on other people's Redstone projects, you're like, how the hell did they do that? And then it's just a big blur of Redstone. Um... They're a lot simpler than they actually look, and I can just, I'll just dissect it and build it bit by bit so you can see how they work. That's basically what I want to do. But of course, if there are any more ideas that you want me to show, I'll show them. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.